Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the class of 12th English medium. The subject is statistics, part 1, chapter 1, index numbers, brought to you by Vitan Sir. Last time we solved section D, that is 3 marks questions, and uh, you can find that tutorial here. This time we are going to go, uh, do the section F. As I have told you in the last tutorial that section E is not part of your syllabus or it is not part of general paper pattern for this particular chapter. So that section I am not going to do right now. If in the future such a need arises, I may solve that section for you guys. And if you want that section to be solved, then you can... Uh, you can comment in the below comment box and if I feel that okay many people are asking for that then maybe I will take out some time to solve that section. Right now let's continue with section F. There are 10 questions in this section F and uh, in this tutorial I am going to solve questions number 1 to 5. They are pretty, pretty big questions, they are 5 mark questions so it takes up a lot of time to explain them so I am uh, dividing this section into two parts so this section will uh, this particular tutorial will carry question number one to five. First question find last pairs and partials index number using the following data for the year 2015 by taking the year 2014 as Bayesia okay and also find Fisher's index number uh, this question is like an afterthought first find last pair partial then also find Fisher Basically, we need to calculate all of them. Now, this is the data which you have with you. Now, this blank uh, column have been added by me. The simple reason is that the data has items wheat, rice, tuadal and oil. The price and total expenditure was given. Now, whenever we have a questions of uh, total expenditure, we have to divide this total expenditure with price. In case you want to understand in detail how this works, this is the video which you can refer to here. So, using the total expenditure and price, we need to calculate the quantity first, and then using the price and quantity and price and quantity of base and current years, we will calculate the remaining values. This total expenditure is basically the multiplication of price and quantity of base year, and this total expenditure is multiplication of price and quantity of current year. So, this is P0, Q0 and this is P1, Q1. So first quantity, to calculate the quantity, we divide total expenditure with the price. So 224 divided by 16 is 14, 140 divided by 35 is 4, 200 divided by 100 is 2, 432 divided by 108 is 4. Similarly, we are going to divide this total expenditure values with the prices and one by one we will get our quantities like this. These calculations, if possible, you have to show it uh, while writing down the answers because calculations are important. It shows the method which we have followed to get our answers. Okay, now uh, whenever we are calculating last year Pasha Fisher's index number, we need four columns. Let me remind you guys once again, we need P1, Q0, P0, Q0, that is 1000, 1000, and P1, Q1, P0, Q1, that is uh, 1101. Now out of that P0, Q0, and P1, Q1 is available from the beginning. So only two columns are to be created that is P1, Q0 and P0, Q1. So now P1, Q0, so the current year price is with the base year quantity. So P1, this column will be multiplied with Q0, this column and the multiplication will be as given here. Similarly, P0, Q1 is the base year price with current year quantity. So, this values will be multiplied with these values. So, just multiply them and uh, you will get these answers. Okay. Don't be lazy. Try to use your calcis to get these answers, to verify these answers and then only move forward. Don't just copy down everything I am showing you on the screen. This is a tutorial but it's better if you try it on your own and then check whether you are correct or not. Make a total. So we make a total of this P0, Q0, then we can make a total of P1, Q1, then we make a total of P1, Q0, and then P0, Q1. 
So we get the four totals which we require for calculating last pair partial and Fisher's index number. Now last pair's index number as we know P1 Q0 upon P0 Q0 into 100. So P1 Q0 is 1132 and P0 Q0 is 996. So the answer for last pair will be 113.65. Next is Pashe. Pashe's index number is P1 Q1 upon P0 Q1. So P1 Q1 is 1430 and P0 Q1 is 1255 into 100. The answer is 113.94. What we are going to do next is uh, get the Fisher's index number, which is last pair multiplied by Pashe whole root. That is the geometric mean between IL and IP. So IL is 113.65, 113.94 is the partial, multiply them and get their root is 113.79. So if you want to write a statement, there is a rise of 13.79% in the cost of food for the current year compared to base year or for the year 2015 compared to year 2014. You can also write it like that. So dear students, this is the answer for the first question. Moving on towards the second question. Question number two, the quantity consumed and total expenditure of four different items. So this time you don't have price and total expenditure, you have quantity and total expenditure. So naturally you need to divide total expenditure with quantity to calculate price. We have to calculate Pache and Fisher's index number. These two columns I have added on my own. Remaining was given in the question. So items are A, B, C, D, total expenditure is there, consumption is there, total expenditure and consumption for base year, current years are there. What we need to do is divide total expenditure with the consumption to get the prices. So 360 upon 66, similarly uh, 16, 32, 112. Then again for the current year, I will divide the total expenditure with the consumption that is quantity to get the prices like this okay use your calculus don't just copy now this total expenditure is base year so p0 q0 is there this total expenditure is for current year so p1 q1 is there we have to calculate Pache and fisher's index number and because fisher's index number is there we need to calculate or four values so we will create p1 q0 and p0 q1 so now current year prices this price is multiplied with base year consumption. So this values. So current year price is multiplied by base year consumption. That is base year quantity. So let's multiply them one by one. And uh, we get the answer. Next, base year uh, price is these values multiplied with current year consumption or current year quantity. Okay, P0, Q1. So multiply these values one by one okay and now we will start making total of this total expenditure which is p0 q0 then this is p1 q1 then this is p1 q0 and uh, this is p0 q1 now we need to calculate uh Pache and fish's index number so we will start with Pache's index number that is p1 q1 upon p0 q1 into 100 so 1804.2 upon 942 and 200 this is p1 q1 and this is p0 q1 so 1804.2 divided by 942 the answer is 191.53 so that is the Pache's index number next uh, i am going to calculate fisher's index number and because the last pair's index number is not there i am going to use the alternate formula for fisher's that is Multiplication of P1 Q0 divided by P0 Q0 with P1 Q1 upon P0 Q1 the whole root and out of the root in 200. So I will just put all these four values respectively in this equation. So 3121 divided by 1336 into 1804.2 divided by 942 into 100. What I am going to do is multiply these two values or uh, first divide these two values individually then multiply these two values then get the square root and then multiply that square root with 100 so you get 211.52 so just write a statement that there is a rise of triple 1.52 percent in the cost of items for the current year compared to base year okay so i think you guys are getting a hang of it how to do this you just need to remember the formulas if you remember the formulas properly it is very easy Third question, compute Fisher's index number from the data given below of six different items. 
six different items are there and we need to calculate features index number but as you can see here items a b c d e f are there their units are there 20 kg quintal kg liter meter dozen and then certain quantity prices etc values are available now uh, if you guys uh, remember properly whenever these kind of units are given we may need to convert this prices or we we, we may need to convert this uh, quantities according to the units given and therefore we need to recreate this table so what i'm going to do i'm going to redraw these four columns here okay so this base year quantity is q0 base year price is p0 current year quantity is q1 current year price is p1 how i'm going to convert this i will go one by one i i will go according to the items now this unit is 20 kg so quantity i am not going to change it is going to be 5 kg but this price of 600 should be divided by 20 to get a price of a single kg of item so 600 divided by 20 will be 30 so 30 rupees per kg and 5 kg similarly this quantity i am going to keep as it is but this 880 per 20 kg will be converted into per kg so 880 divided by 20 is 44 rupees per kg Quintal is 100 kg, so naturally I am going to convert this price 1600 into 100 kg. So 10 kg will be as it is, 1600 will be divided by 100 to get 16 rupees per kg. Again, this 12 kg will be as it is, and 2400 will be divided by 100 to get a 24 rupees. Now, here kg is there, but now this quantity is in grams. So I am going to convert this grams into kg. So 1200 divided by 1000 grams is 1.2 kg price will be as it is similarly 2000 grams will be converted into 2 kg and 75 rupees per kg okay so this quantity will be converted here you must show this calculations uh, it is necessary liter so nothing difference no difference is that it is simple liter is in liters simple so i will just write down as they are next meters is also something which is as it is so just write them down okay without making any changes now there is a dozen here and these are in the pieces so either i convert the pieces to dozens or i convert the price to pieces so i will convert the price here you can do either if you want to convert the quantity to dozens you can do that no problem there but uh, i have chosen to convert the price so 30 divided by 12 okay dozen is 12 pieces so 30 rupees for 12 pieces 2.5 rupees for one piece similarly 36 rupees for a dozen three rupees per piece so i have got the new table here and now using this new table i need to calculate fisher's index number and because i need to calculate fisher's index number i need all the four columns that is p1 uh, p1 q0 p0 q0 p1 q1 p0 q1 and for that purpose i will multiply the respective columns according to the column heads p1 q0 that is multiplying the current year prices with the base year quantities so just multiply them 44 phi 24 tens 75 into 1.2 32 into 30 then uh, 12 into 12 and uh, 3 into 20 okay next p0 q0 so i will be multiplying these two columns with each other so 5 into 30 16 into 10 uh, 16 into 1.2 52 into 30 8 into 12 and 2.5 into 20. next i will be multiplying p1 with q1 so these two columns will be multiplied here so 44 into 12 24 into 12 75 into 2 32 into 36, 12 into 20, 16 into 3. Next, the last multiplication of P0 Q1. So, base year price with the current year quantities. So, 30 into 12, 16 into 12, 60 into 2, 52 into 36, 8 into 20 and 2.5 into 16. So, now I get all the four columns, whichever I need here. I will make a total of P1 Q0, P0 Q0, P1 Q1 and P0 Q1. 
So with this, I can finally calculate Fisher's index number. Now, as we know that last pair and passes index numbers are not available, we are going to use the alternate method of calculating Fisher's index number. That is P1 Q0 upon P0 Q0 multiplied by P1 Q1 upon P0 Q1, the whole square root into 100. First, put the values 1714 divided by 2088 into 2406 upon 2744, whole root into 100. I am going to multiply these numerators and then divide both of them with the denominators and directly get the answer 0 0.71977 whole root into 100. When I get the square root, it gets 0 0.84839 into 100. And when I simplify this by multiplying it with the 100, I get 84.84. .84. Okay, so 84.84 .84 is the index number for the items. So the statements will be there is a fall of 15.16%. Okay, because it is less than 100 in the cost of items for the current year compared to the base year. So, the cost of items have fallen compared to the current year, uh, in the current year compared to the base year by 15.16%. Okay, let's move on. We have to compute last year's Pache and Fisher's index number for the given data. So this is the data. You have the items A, B, C, D, E. You have the quantity for 2014-15. You have the price for 2014-15. And using this Q0, Q1 and P0, P1, you need to calculate last year's Pache and Fisher. So that means you need to again create the similar kind of column that is P1Q0, P0Q0, P1Q1, P0Q1. And now we will start with the multiplication. This is a very easy question. Okay, just multiply and then solve the last pair partial Fisher's problem. So P1Q0, that is uh, this value here, these values are the current year prices which will be multiplied with the base year quantities. So one by one, we will multiply them, okay? And next, P0, Q0, that is current uh, base year prices with the base year quantities, okay? These are the base year prices and these are the base year quantities which we will be multiplying so 42 into 25, 28 into 15, 30 into 10, 20 into 8, 60 into 30. This is a easy, this is a very easy question because we don't have those units here for which we need to change the whole data. So whatever is the data available, we directly multiply them without caring for anything else. P1, Q1, that is the current year price with the current year quantity. So multiply them one by one. And next, base year price with the current year quantity. So 42 into 32, 28 into 20, 30 into 20, 20 into 15, 16 into 36. Make a total for these four columns, one by one for P1, Q0, P0, Q0, P1, Q1, and P0, Q1. And uh, then we have to calculate all the three index numbers. So for the last year's index number, P1 Q0 divided by P0 Q0 into 100, that is 4085 divided by 3730 into 100, and the answer is 109.52. Next is Pasha's index number, which is P1 Q1 divided by P0 Q1 into 100, that is 5475 divided by 4964 into 100, and your answer is 110.29. Next, you calculate the Fisher's index number. So that is the multiplication of last pair and Pasha's index number, uh, which is uh, 109.52 and 110.29. So multiplication and the root is 109.90. And the statement here will be that there is a rise of 9.90%, that is 109.90 minus 100, in the cost of items for the current year compared to the base year. It's pretty simple right now, right? Now moving towards the final question for this tutorial, that is the question number five. All the previous four questions uh, were related with the last pair, Pasha and Fisher's index number. 
but this question here is related with the total expenditure and family budget methods that is it is about the cost of living index number so the four questions previously which we did were related with last year pass of fisher methods while this is related with the cost of living index further we need to calculate it using the total expenditure method and the family budget method and uh, mind it this is going to be one of the longest questions i have ever solved you will know why just look at this we have the items wheat rice sugar oil pulses and ghee and the main thing here is that we have the units so first step is converting these data according to the provided units and then calculating total expenditure method and family budget method so this is going to be one of the longest tables which you are going to draw maybe you will need to divide your table into two parts the first table after conversion and the second table for writing down this columns for total expenditure and family budget method i have a good space here so i am going to write down the whole table together but you decide how you want to do it so first step is converting these quantity prices a uh, quantity of 13 price of 13 and price of 15 according to this quintal and 20 kg and 20 kg and accordingly we may either need to convert this quantity or we, we may need to convert the prices so first of all i am going to write down the table here for quantity uh, the converted quantity and prices for the current years and the base years now for the first value wheat year Uh, quintal is 100 kg and we also have a 100 kg quantity usually what we do is divide the prices by 100 because we have very uh, small quantities of them but right now we have 100 kg so what i am going to do here is i am going to not convert the prices but i am going to convert this quantity of kg into a quintal so that is 100 kg divided by 100 kg per quintal is one quintal so this is actually one quintal and the price i am going to leave as they are now this is 20 kg and i am not going to convert this into a 20 kg okay so i am going to convert this prices uh, into simple kg so dividing them by 20 so 700 by 20 is 35 and 800 by 20 is 40 now here there is no change here also no change now this is 20 kg once again so i am going to leave this quantity as it is and convert this 2000 and 2400 uh into simple kg values so 2000 divided by 20 is 100 and 2400 divided by 20 is 120 next i am going to leave these values as they are okay the conversion is over now i need to calculate total expenditure method and family budget method now if you are wondering how to calculate both of these method into a single sum you will find that video here which will help you guys in doing this okay so p1 q0 and p0 q0 that is for total expenditure method using the bezier quantity that is last year's formula but when i am calculating family budget method i need iw and for that i need i and w so p0 q0 is also considered the weights so p0 q0 is equal to w will be the common column for both the methods i also need i and then i will be multiplying i with w to get iw so these two columns are for total expenditure method and these three columns are for family budget method okay so we just need to start by multiplying this current year prices with the base year quantity so 2400 into 1 quintal is 2400 40 into 40 is 1600 36 into 40 uh, 120 into 60 120 into 40 480 into 36 next p0 q0 that is uh, base year prices with the base year quantity so 1800 into 1 35 into 40 30 into 40 108 into 60 100 into 40 and 400 into 36 next i will be calculating index number and i think you guys must be familiar with how to calculate an index number now that is the current year prices divided by the base year prices into 100 so 2400 divided by 1800 into 100 similarly 40 divided by 35 into 100 36 divided by 30 into 
120 divided by 10, 8 into 100, 120 divided by 100 into 100 and 480 divided by 40 into 100. So these are the index numbers which you get and next you multiply index number with the weight and these are going to be long answers. So multiply these values with these values here, okay, one by one. Whatever the answer you get, just write it down without any worries, okay. We will get the final answer properly, no worries about that. Next, we need to make a total of P1, Q0, then P0, Q0, then IW. These are the totals which we will require for our calculation. Starting with the total expenditure method, that is uh, index number for total expenditure method is P1, Q0 upon P0, Q0 into 100. So, uh, 34,720 divided by 29,280 into 100 is 118.58. Uh, what we need to check is whether both the index numbers are same or not. So whatever the answer we get for total expenditure should also be same as guiding for family budget. Now family budget method has index number as summation IW upon summation W that is 3 lakh 47 uh, sorry 34,71,992.8 divided by 29,280 and you get the same answer 118.58 okay. And in case you are getting a minor decimal difference, it is due to these round offs which we made here. Okay, there is a huge possibility that the, this is the reason, this is the culprit of a round off. But 99.99% you will get the same answer. And if there is a difference, it is due to the rounding off of the values. Okay, so just write a statement that we can say that total expenditure and family budget methods give the same answer. I hope you guys have understood how to solve these five questions. In my next tutorial, I will come forward with question number 6 to 10 of the section F of the chapter 1 index numbers for the part 1 of statistics class 12. And with that, our chapter will be over. Thank you very much for being with me guys and stay tuned. Welcome students to Vitansas Anekant Academy that's better way to success for you. I am Vitan Mora and I teach accountancy, statistics and social science. You can contact me on my cell number 9194263101814. Please give a sub to my channel and also check out my other video playlist which you can see on the screen. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.